This is an Aquastar 430 aft cabin. Now this is a really intriguing boat and the reason for this is because Aquastar build serious heavy weather boats for things like ship pilots and customs, people need to go out to sea in all weathers. But what they've done is they've fused that serious offshore ability with a real luxury interior. We'll go on board and I will show that to you. But before we do, I'm gonna show you some stuff on the outside. Now this is a semi-displacement hull rather than planing and slipping across the top of the water this actually pushes through it and that gives a much better ride when they're going gets rough you can see it's got a big keel in the center to aid directional stability these big thick shafts propellers and rudders on the back another thing it's got on here is stabilizers so these can swing so that as the boat rocks it counters the rock and keeps it very stable now if i can just explain a little bit more about that semi-displacement form a really good example is the princess that's next to us if you look at this this is quite angular the idea of this is all about speed so when you get up to speed the boat lifts up on these spray rails and then it skims across the surface the idea of this one you can see it's much more rounded is that it pushes much more through the water so as it hits the waves it powers through them rather than bouncing over them but what they did with the aquastar is they put these very thick spray rails on because often the problem with the semi displacement is they punch a lot of water over the boat and the idea of this is to try and keep the water down and out rather than throwing it across the boat when the going gets rough but it means you've got some serious offshore capability with this for a 43 foot boat this would be absolutely superb out in the rough but as i mentioned you're not compromised then in terms of the interior you don't end up with a sort of tonka toy interior because they've done something rather special with that so we're going to head on board and I will give you the full tour. Here we go. It's an aft cabin layout. So you've got the raised deck at the back here and you'll see how that works again when we go inside. And we're gonna step on board just here. There is a bathing platform at the back. And then this is straight onto the side decks. These here are little gates that can swing across. So you've got a bit of security there to stop them coming out off the back unfettered. I think while we're here we'll take a turn around the outside first of all. We've got really wide side decks and really high rails. You can stand here and grip them without having to sort of lean down or feel that you're a bit exposed. And the decks are also bulwarked so you've got this raised section on the outside. It's a very secure boat to move around and very practical. You can see in terms of the non-slip finish on the deck these big posts here rather than cleats feels almost like a commercial boat on the outside and that's kind of the idea is to fuse that serious commercial offshore boat with a luxury interior so we'll head on back and i'll show you what i mean it's a breezy day out here today hopefully you're not getting too much wind noise but it'll stop as soon as we go into here so this is the aft deck and one interesting feature of this you've got the canopy around the back which will come off but also there's a canopy up above us that slides back in fact it's powered so you push a button and that motors all the way back or closes again that's a track vision system up there that allows you to get satellite tv when you're on the water and in fact obviously a satellite dish needs to be fixed in order to point at the satellites what this does is it actually motors inside there so it stays locked in position as the boat swings that's rather clever you've got a seat over on this side and this one swivels back the other way so you can increase the seating around here or of course when you're driving the boat it comes back that way and that gives you this helm position here it's very sheltered because you've got the high screen around it and you've got the canopies on again hard top up above but you can take these screens out above the windscreen so you can get the airflow through here the multi-function display on this side and then things like your autopilot tucked away underneath here your engine instrumentation and so on and then on the other side there's another seat and this seat will actually tilt forward because there is a barbecue underneath there so you've seen some use that's excellent and in fact there's a fridge underneath that seat as well so that is the exterior as i say it gets a little bit posher as you come into this area but it gets a lot posher when we go downstairs because Aquastar used a company called Design Unlimited. Now they do a lot of work with super yachts and got those guys to come up with this interior. And it's very nice indeed. The stand up feature straight away is the woodwork. This beautiful high gloss finish they put in. 
the steps, the table, everything around here. And if you look at it in a bit more detail, you can see just how nicely that's done. It's really special. And it completely changes the character of the boat because you come down into here and suddenly you're into a real luxury environment. You've got blinds that drop down over the windows. There's a big hatch in the ceiling as well. So you can open that and get more ventilation into here. There's also blinds that slide across if you want them. You've got on this side, that is the uh, satellite decoder for that track vision that we saw out on the outside of the boat. There's a bar area underneath here. And there's also a TV. If I push this button here, that will rise up thusly. And if we work our way back over onto this side, this is the switch panel. So all of your 12 volt distribution is controlled from here. So these are circuit breakers for every single system on the boat. You've also got up above it the central heating system, the generator start stop and so on. And then beneath it is the 240 volt distribution panel. And then next to that you've got storage in places like this. But that's not what you expect when you look at the outside of this boat, and I think that's really special. Let's head on a bit further forward. You'll notice there's no helm down here, that's because the helm up there is very protected by that hard top and those screens. So that is the only driving position of the boat, and that means that this interior is not compromised at all. If we look over here on the port side, this is almost like a little utility area. So you've got a fridge in here, you've got the washing machine, and this over here is a deep freeze. Coffee makers here as well. And then on the other side, that is the galley area. That fella up there, that's a dehumidifier. So that's just keeping the boat nice and dry while she's out of the water. Twin sinks here, as you can see, this is all storage underneath in places like this. It's all electric cooking, as you can see. And on this side, there's even a dishwasher. And this is what I mean, it's the luxury experience as soon as you come inside this boat. It's very, very nicely done. Access to the day heads is over here. So that's in there, a shower as well, of course. And then, if we come forward again, you'll notice something very interesting, which is, if you look at the wood in this area, it's all this high gloss, dark wood. You can see it all the way around like so. But when we walk into the cabin, rather neatly, it all changes to this much lighter finish. And that's because these areas are a little bit smaller. And so it's nice to have these a bit brighter on the inside. And in fact, you've also got big skylights up ahead. The front one there opens and there are blinds that come across that as well. So it's throwing loads of light into this cabin. You've got windows up on the side as well. But look at this door. It's light wood on that side and it's dark wood on that. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Hanging locker is over here. And then this is all storage around here. I love these nice wood cappings in places like this. And in fact, this is a double bed, but it's actually scissor berths. If we look underneath, you can see that's two separate beds together. And it means that you can slide these out to the sides. If you've got children that don't want to share or anybody indeed who doesn't want to share, people who've been married a long time, that kind of thing, then they can sleep in here in separate beds or have it as a double as it is at the moment. The other thing you've got here is ensuite access into that day head. So at night, this becomes an ensuite cabin. And one thing I will show you, which is quite neat, is a relatively small area, it's certainly big enough, but it's not quite big enough for a separate shower stall. So what they've done is created this, which will just pull across so that you shower then on this side and it just keeps that side a bit drier. That's quite neat. There we go. Back out to the magic color changing door. And let's take a look at the rest of it. So this is back out into the saloon. I do like this club chair on this side. And then the owner gets their own completely separate domain. If we come right to the back and we step down here, 
how about that for a master cabin? It's a full beam of the boat, it goes right to the back of the boat. So you've got these big windows all the way around. These circular sections open and that square in the centre also opens so you can get lots of light and air into here if you want to. And then this is storage, of course, all the way around in places like this. And drawers in here as well. It is a very capable boat and it is the sort of boat that you might choose to disappear for a month or two in the summer rather than just sort of a weekend or a week. So they really have packed a load of storage into here and they've made it really really comfortable. These are blinds that drop down over these windows so you've got privacy if you want it. Now if we come around on this side then there's a nice dressing table with a lovely view. Well, it's a boatyard today, but let's <laughs> imagine we're in the south of France. That's a lovely view out of Cannes or somewhere. Um, so that opens up like that. That's all soft clothes as well. That's interesting. Very soft clothes. The softest clothes, in fact, I think I've ever seen. Beautiful. More storage over here. And another interesting thing is the fact that the toilet and the shower are separate. So in this side, it's the loo. And you've got a bit of storage again tucked away in places like this and your sink and your heated towel rail again there's blinds for the window but no shower the shower is over here on the other side so that's in there really good size and it means of course that if someone's in the shower it doesn't stop you using the loo and vice versa but what a lovely cabin that is, particularly in a 43 foot boat. Superb. It really is the kind of thing where you could just go down to the boat and go, right, we're away. We're heading off in May. We'll be back in September. Stunning. Let's have a look at the engines. So that was a pretty substantial hatch. I'm just going to lift that one out of the way. I'll move that around here. There we go. And we'll dive down and take a look. So in here are a pair of Yanmar 400 horsepower diesel engines. They're a twin engine, of course. And they're giving some pretty decent performance for this style of boat. They're giving it about 28 knots flat out. So it's your cruise, therefore. 20 to 25 knots and the range at those sorts of speeds probably around 300 miles it's very clean in here very clean indeed actually this has been a loved boat by the look of it you can see the gearboxes there at the back of the engines and then the shafts go off down you can possibly just see them disappear off down there all nicely lit and uh, fuel filters away you can get at them raw water strainers are there Seacocks again, where you can reach them easily. All very good. Right, let's come back out of here. And I will put that hatch back. Very carefully. There we go. Good. So I'm going to finish off up here at the helm. So there we go, Aquastar 430, very interesting boat, huge thanks to Burson for organising that tour, huge thanks to you guys for watching, if you've not subscribed, do me a favour, hit that subscribe button and uh, press the little bell, it helps the channel and it'll keep you posted more videos coming, and we will look forward to catching you guys on another one very soon. Take care, bye bye.